The following program contains explicit American history. If you suffer from stupidity, Randall may not be right for you. Check with your revisionist historian. Speaking the truth when others hold their tongues. Wrestling for justice with left-wingers and crocodiles. Resisting the temptation to keep the peace at any price. And he doesn't use a teleprompter. Randall Terry. Welcome, friends, to a special edition of Randall Terry, the voice of resistance. I'm filling in for Randall today. My name is Gary. We have been on the road putting on thousands and thousands of miles on our little SUV, and we've been gathering press for Terry for President, gathering press for the unborn babies. This show brought to you by boulders, boulders of all sizes, Boulder, Colorado, gray boulders, pink boulders, and brought to you by chief landscaper, God. We hope you enjoy this. Now we've got a word from Sir Reginald Bling. Hey, Mr. Bling, get out in the country. Get that kind of thing on, I got something to say. Where are the watchmen on the walls? We need some watchmen. There are rebels and renegades right here in our midst of the Christian church. And what are the pastors and the priests and the bishops doing? Nothing. They let them come on in, waltz on out. They're killing babies. They're pushing homosexual marriage. They're saying that Islam is a religion of peace and we should just get along with people who want to cut our throats. Let me tell you something. We need some prophets up on the wall who look over and say, danger, danger, danger. And you... Get your sign hind end out of our midst, because you ain't nothing but a rebel. That's what we need, I'm saying. Welcome to our show, folks. Have we got an incredible sermon for you today, delivered by none other than Randall Terry himself, introduced by Pastor Rob. Listen closely when Randall Terry speaks of the kingship of Jesus Christ. By the way, what you're about to see is an absolute miracle breakthrough. Let me explain. The pro-life movement has desired to show commercials on TV and, and broadcast what abortion really is, actually show the aborted babies. Listen, discoveries have been made over the last several decades where pro-lifers have found babies thrown in dumpsters uh, where the abortion clinic was trying to save money on extermination fees, you know, and just throwing them in the dumpsters. And so, so follow this now. Um, um, you know, they've made these discoveries and they wanted to show America what's been going on in reality, but, but it gets watered down. They're not allowed to show it, okay? So you try to do a commercial that has this much in it to really explain what's going on. Let's just take it back. Let's say it was uh, uh, concerning the days of slavery and, and when people were being lynched, or let's say in, in Germany when the Jews were being killed. Imagine, imagine if you were trying to show the injustice of lynching or justice of, of genocide with the Jews, and, and they wouldn't let you show a black person, they wouldn't let you show you. They would just let you maybe do a commercial in the air and say, well, well, life is a good choice, or life is a beautiful choice, but not really show you what's going on. And so that's what they've made pro-life people do that have produced commercials. They've made us water it down, where all you can do is do a, a sweet image message. Now, a sweet image message has a value, but let me tell you what has a much greater value when you say, this is what they're doing to children in the land of the free and the home of the brave. This is what is happening. They're killing babies. And when you show them that, it, it, it arrests everyone. It makes everyone deal with it. Some hate it at the moment because they are pro-choice, they are pro-abortion, they believe it's a woman's right, and they would, they would die for it. But then they, they see what happens to the babies. And sometimes it, it converts their heart. And so Randall, by running for president on the Democratic side, his attempt is not to win. He knows that that's not a possibility. But by running on the Democratic ticket in the primaries, he's allowed to do uncensored commercials in markets all around the United States, provided he has money to pay for the ads. And they can't strip down the content. They can't say, you can't show that, you can't say that. And so we want to show you what the commercial is. And he's running these during the Super Bowl and at other times. I'm Randall Terry, Democrat candidate for president and I approve this message. Awesome stuff. Now listen, it's hard to react to that. How do you, how do you clap 
you just saw unborn children murdered, you know, how do you, it, it has an unsettling feeling. Just how it made you feel, uh, that's the way we want others to feel. We want them to feel what you feel. And what, what turned around uh, things in America when, when African Americans were being lynched was showing the pictures of it. Showing what it was is what turned it around. Before that, white people made these lame arguments, they convinced each other, it was, it was passable. But when the community showed what was happening to them, how could you deny it and, and it started to turn? This is the greatest idea in the pro-life movement that I've heard in a long time. I found a loophole and were able to show this. And so what he's been doing, going around the country, holding meetings, rallies, churches, wherever. So, um, what a blessing. Now, who, Randall's about to come. Let me introduce him. Randall Terry and a group of leaders that he brought with him came to Kansas in 1991. And, and Operation Rescue, uh, the, the immediate plan was to do passive resistance, to sit down in front of abortion clinics and say, we're sitting down to prevent these clinics from opening and killing children. Eventually, everyone was arrested. 2,776 arrests, approximately, were done. The jail only held 433, and it was almost full. So where do you put 2,700 people? They made little concentration camps around the community and stuck people in there because they didn't know where to put them. But as a result of that, back then, there was three operating abortion clinics, and Wesley Hospital did some abortions, okay? After Operation Rescue left, within months, there was uh, two abortion clinics closed, and Wesley stopped doing that. So three abortion providers went away <laughs> by showing the pictures, not on TV, but on street corners, and by the body of Christ. Several things were said back then that I remember very, very clearly. One is Randall Terry stood in front of 84 ministers in a room, and the 84 ministers were considering doing a clergy rescue and being arrested for the sake of the little children. And, and some of the men in the room were already, and they were ready to go. Um, big deal, you get a trespassing fine to try to save a baby. Others weren't sure. And I remember Randall looked at the ministers and says, men of conviction, what's one more conviction? And I believe that one statement, I watched the faces, men of conviction. We say we have conviction as ministers. Are you willing to get a trespassing sign or fine or a loitering fine, 25 bucks to save babies? And so 84, all 84 that were in that room, all went for it. And we all got arrested together, and it was, we, you know, we did it for the babies, but not only 84 preachers, 2,700, or 2,600 and change non-preachers got arrested during that same period of time. That movement may have been the greatest rev revolution movement of the last 30 years. It's certainly the greatest one I witnessed. What he has learned through that, because he led that movement. So we're about to hear from a guy that led, possibly, the greatest pro-life movement of the last 30 years. Now, he's not an exclusive guy that goes, I'm the only one doing good, and everyone else is not. He's a team player. He's an inclusive guy. He's the type of guy that supports everyone. Let's give our support to Randall Terry. Thank you all. You're very kind, Pastor. Um, I don't have a watch again. Let's replay this. What time, how much time do I have? About 20 minutes? 30. 30, okay. Thank you. <laughs> this is a repeat of last night. <laughs> oh, a Rolex, eh? Huh? Pro-Life Works has been very good to you. <laughs> it's not even a Timex, man. <laughs> it is a Timex, all right. <clears throat> I... Um, I am, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm going to pray, and, and then I'm going to give you the ground rules. There, you have to have ground rules when I preach, because your life won't be the same, I promise you. Lord Jesus, we bless you and we praise you for your goodness to us. You told us that after we have done all that we are required to do, to say, I am an unworthy servant. I've only done that which is my duty. Lord, we are your unworthy servants. 
We pray that you would help us to do our duty. Please, God, in Jesus' precious name, amen. Randall and I made a trip to Washington to visit FDR. While there, Randall told him that Alger Hiss was a communist. The president threw us out of his office. Moron. Hi, Joe Costello here, founder of Kylea Health and Energy. I've been making superb nutritional supplements for over 15 years, and from day one, I've partnered with Randall Terry, helping to fund his invaluable work in reclaiming our country's biblical and godly roots. I want to share with you a product that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives since its inception. Introducing the Total Living Drinks, Greens and Berry, the ultimate superfood formulas that provide you the nine essential areas of nutrition your body needs on a daily basis. Each serving of the Total Living Drink provides the life-giving phytonutrients that come from the equivalent of five servings of organic vegetables and berries, enzymes for better digestion and nutrient absorption, protein for building lean muscle mass so you can burn more fat for fuel, probiotics for better intestinal function, herbs for building energy and stamina, antioxidants for maximum immune function and disease prevention and all the vitamins and minerals you need for slowing down aging and maximum health. You would have to take 30 to 40 capsules each day and spend almost $10 a day to match the over 30,000 milligrams of total nutrition in each scoop of the Total Living Drink. Order right now and get started on the amazing Total Living Drink. They come in two delicious flavors, Total Living Drink Greens and Total Living Drink Berry. And every single dollar we receive, we give a generous amount to Randall Terry's organization to help further his work and further the kingdom. Visit us online at the address on your screen and receive an online discount or call the toll-free number. Call today, and for the daily price of a latte, you can get back on the road to better health and energy with Kylea's Total Living Drink. wrong with America? They haven't put Randall Terry in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet! What? Welcome back to Randall Terry's sermon in Kansas. Listen in. All right. How many of you in this room are 25 years old and younger? 25 and younger, okay. And 26 and older? How many of you will not respond with questions about your age? Nice. Ladies, yes, very good, ma'am. Thank you. Um, in, the next, in the next meeting, I'm not going to preach the same sermon twice. In the next meeting, will there be more or less young people? Or about the same? More percentage. More percentage of young people. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll talk about King David in the next session. And if you want to stay for the second one, please, please feel free. The only requirement if you stay for both sermons is that you, you give an offering twice. Amen. <laughs> right and the bookkeeper said yes <laughs> um, most of us have struggles now let's face it Sunday morning tends to be the time when we put on our best face try to put on our best clothing try to have the best smile we say the spiritual words etc which is fine but the truth of the matter is that all of us have struggles, whether they're internal struggles with our emotions, whether they're struggles with addictions, whether they're struggles with a bad relationship, whether it's struggles with the death of a parent, the death of a child, the death of a loved one, struggles in our marriages, divorce. Go down the list. This is a rough life. It's messy around the edges. It is. And the people emerging out of Tulsa that want to tell us that we can just rebuke things and claim things. They're full of hooey, okay? They are. And because the Bible says, who can speak and have it happen unless the Lord has decreed it? Lamentations chapter 3. And so the problem with those situations is that they, they construct a faith 
which they would say, this is what it means to follow Jesus, that we can just rebuke all illness, we can command prosperity, all these things. They construct a faith that simply doesn't work. It works for a few people at the very top of the food chain who are taking the offerings and driving the motorcycles, but it doesn't work. It's not the way God made the faith. None of us get out of here alive, okay? You are going to die. <laughs> Boy, this is a happy message. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Randall, I, I graduated from Tulsa from Lima. Oh, well, there you go. So you know what I'm talking about. So th- I did not know that. Um, and now let's change the sermon title. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm headed someplace important. And so what happens with people who get into these situations where they command a thing to happen or they pray to God, God, we're going to believe for this. If it does not happen, and sometimes it doesn't, then they lose their faith. There are many shipwrecks, and you've seen them. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Many shipwrecks. Whereas the faith of Christ is pick up your cross, follow Jesus, die to yourself. Know this, Jesus said, As all men have hated me, they will hate you. Blessed are you when men persecute you, revile you, cast your name out as evil. For my sake, Jesus said, or he said, for the sake of justice. Great is your reward in heaven. All who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Paul talked in the book of Philippians about suffering for the gospel. And that it's part of who we are, the book of Hebrews, talking about the chastening of the Lord, the trials that we go through, Hebrews chapter 11, Hebrews chapter 12, by faith, they were sawn in two. Lord, I pray you'd increase my faith so that I could be cut in two. (laughs) You following me? It's just a rough life. And the more you serve God, the the more difficult things are going to be. Now, there will be greater heights, but I'm telling you, look at the life of King David. King David is the archetype of man. Forget the Renaissance man. He's a wannabe. The Davidic man is, he's he's all that. I'm going to talk about David in 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 our next meeting, but the life of David is marked by heartache and sorrow and death and war and triumph and psalms, psalms of joy, psalms of sorrow, psalms of exultation, psalms of desperation. That's life, people. The issue is holding our Savior's hand. And when I was going through some of my worst times, went through a horrific divorce, I would just, I would drive down the road in the car And I would hold my hand out like this, with one finger like that, just picturing holding Christ's hand with my finger in his wound. Saying, Jesus, it's just your wounds. Your wounds must keep me, Lord. Your wounds must keep me. Now, the reason I say that is because there's a, I'm using this as an introduction to talk about something completely different. The, and, and I was going to make this transition before I knew you were going to Tulsa. By the way, Randall, let me, let me just say something that will help you. What he's referring to, I know exactly what he was referring to. Some people have made Christianity all about them. That's I where I'm going. Prosper, I want to be blessed. I want to be happy. I want to go to another seminar. He's not referring to the fact of using our faith. He's not referring to the fact that God wants to bless people. Because if you listen to his preaching, you see that. What he's talking about is selfishness when, when Christianity becomes selfishness. So I'm with him 100% in that rendition. Thank you. And that is exactly right. Thank you, Pastor. That's why he's your pastor and I'm the visiting speaker. So thank you, Jesus. I only have to endure Randall for one sermon. Yes, God! Yeah, up there, our police escort. We're that important, baby. Oh, thanks. You guys are awesome. Stop in traffic for us. Thank you!
Hi, Joe Costello here, founder of Kylea Health and Energy. I want to share with you a product that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives. Introducing the Total Living Drinks, Greens and Berry, the ultimate superfood formulas that provide you the nine daily essential areas of nutrition your body needs. Each scoop provides the life-giving phytonutrients that come from the equivalent of five servings of organic vegetables and berries, probiotics for better intestinal function, antioxidants for disease prevention, and vitamins and minerals for establishing maximum health. Order now and get started on the Total Living Drink. When you do, a generous gift will go to Randall Terry's organization to help further his work and further the kingdom. Order online and receive an online discount or call the toll-free number. Call today and enjoy maximum health and energy. Courage is rightly esteemed the first of human qualities because it is the quality which guarantees all others. Sir Winston Churchill. Welcome back. We bring you now the next segment of Randall Terry speaking on the kingship of Christ. Hope you enjoy. So, Christianity, the death of our Savior, number one, is not for self-consumption only. And the mistake that has happened in the evangelical world, I, I went to Bible college, I have a bachelor's degree in Christian studies, and I'm a, I'm a student of theology. The, the problem that has occurred since the Reformation, in the Anabaptist world especially, is that we have departed from a view of Christianity that incorporates suffering. There's a great book written by Paul Bilheimer called Don't Waste Your Sorrows. I encourage you to read it. It's a magnificent book. He's a Protestant. But most of the Protestant world has lost touch with the early church and the scriptures concerning suffering and the place that suffering holds in our personal redemption and in the conquering of evil in the world. Telemachus ended the gladiator games. He was a monk, traveled to Rome in the early 400s. Rome had already converted to Christianity, but they still had the gladiator games. And there was two men in the, in, inside the Colosseum that were trying to kill each other. And he had never seen anything like this. He's looking around going, I, what, the, what is going on? He jumps into the Colosseum and says, in the name of Christ, stop! In the name of Christ, forbear! And his, history records that he was killed on the spot. Some history says that he was stoned by the crowd. Some says that one of the gladiators stabbed him. Perhaps both are true. But the emperor got word of what he had done, and that day ordered all gladiator games suspended for all time in the Roman Empire. And that was the end. Because of an act of courageous sacrifice and suffering from one person who said, I'm not going to stand by and watch this. I am going to jump in. I'm going to jump in. It's my business when another man is trying to kill another man. Amen. That's my business. Because my business is to do the business of the king. Amen. And many of us have, because of life, that's why I started off saying life is tough. <laughs> We're so frantic sometimes when we go through dark seasons especially to hold on, to just hold on, that we think, it's not even a conscious thought. We don't go, well, you know, I know they're killing babies and I know homosexual militants are trying to get homosexual marriage and I know that we're caving into Islam left and right and <clears throat> I know that we're bankrupting our nation and enslaving our children to unfathomable debt, but I need the peace of Jesus today. And I'm going to read a psalm and I'm going to read a little devotional that gives me peace and I'm going to claim a promise all day long. And You follow me? Be not silent, O God of my praise, for wicked and deceitful mouths are opened against me, speaking against me with lying tongues. Hi, Joe Costello here, founder of Kylea Health and Energy. I want to share with you a product that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives. Introducing the Total Living Drinks, Greens and Berry, the ultimate superfood formulas that provide you the nine daily essential areas of nutrition your body needs. 
Each scoop provides the life-giving phytonutrients that come from the equivalent of five servings of organic vegetables and berries, probiotics for better intestinal function, antioxidants for disease prevention, and vitamins and minerals for establishing maximum health. Order now and get started on the Total Living Drink. When you do, a generous gift will go to Randall Terry's organization to help further his work and further the kingdom. Order online and receive an online discount or call the toll-free number. Call today and enjoy maximum health and energy. George Washington said in a letter to George Mason, friends and foes seem now to combine to pull down the goodly fabric we have hitherto been raising at the expense of so much time, blood, and treasure. And unless the body's politic will exert themselves to bring things back to first principles, correct abuses, and punish our internal foes, inevitable ruin must follow. Dear friends, we need to know that George Washington himself saw the degree to which we need to be wary and to protect our liberty and that the foes that we have within our within Republicans within the Democrats can bring us down he was wary and he was ready to fight dear friends what are you willing to do today to fight for this nation what are you willing to do will you hold to first principles let's work together and fight